In this video, we're going to look through an example of how to find the initial concentration of a base if the pH and the Ka, Kb values are known. A student needs to use ammonia for a reaction. They find a bottle simply labeled ammonia without a concentration. To determine the concentration, the student measures the pH, which is 12.34. What is the concentration of ammonia in the bottle? So the first step in any weak acid or weak base problem is to write out our uh, reaction. So ammonia is NH3. When it reacts with water, it's going to accept a proton from water to form NH4. And hydroxide. So we can write ice down the side here. We're going to be solving for our initial concentration. So I'm going to put an X for the initial concentration of ammonia. Water won't have a change in concentration. And our initial concentration of our products is zero. We can solve for the equilibrium concentration of ammonium and hydroxide using our pH. So first thing we're going to do is calculate pOH from pH. So our pOH is going to equal 14 minus the pH. So that's going to equal 1.66. Next step is going to be to calculate the, P, uh, the OH concentration from our pOH. So hydroxide concentration will equal 10 to the negative pOH. So 10 to the negative 1.66. And that equals 0 0.02, and you get two significant digits, 0 0.022 moles per liter. Again, I'm not actually going to round, though. So in my calculator, I have a much longer number, and that's the number I'm going to carry forward in my calculations. Just for record keeping though, I will keep the shorter number. So 0 0.022 for both of these. That means that our change in concentration was positive 0 0.022 for these two values and negative 0 0.022 here, giving us an equilibrium concentration of x minus 0 0.022. Now we can write our equilibrium expression. So Kb is going to equal the concentration of ammonium times hydroxide divided by ammonia. We need to calculate Kb, and we're going to do that using the Ka value for ammonium. So Kb going to equal Kw over Ka. Kw is 1 times 10 to the negative 14. And Ka is 5.6 times 10 to the negative 10 for ammonium. And we get a Kb value of 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. So we can plug that into our expression. Uh, 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5 equals 0 0.022 squared over 0 over, sorry, x minus 0 0.022. So if we're solving for x, we want to move our denominator up to this side of the equation. We're going to do that by multiplying this on both sides, and then we'll divide both sides by the kb value. So x which is equal to our initial concentration of ammonia is going to equal 0 0.022 squared divided by 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. And then we're going to add on our 0 0.022. So this ratio will give us the equilibrium concentration. To get back to our initial concentration, 
we have to add on the change because our equilibrium is going to be the change less than our initial. That gives us an equilibrium concentration of 26.80. So it's a very high concentration. So our equilibrium concentration is 26.80 moles per liter. And our initial concentration is 26.83. Uh, because we only get two significant digits from our pH, we're going to round that number to 27 moles per liter. So a very, very high concentration of ammonia is required to get that high of a pH.